In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily tap into a PVC water line for city water or sprinkler systems using only a small hole in the ground. To get started, you want to cut a small section of the PVC pipe out so that a T can fit in between these two pipes. You want to make sure the spacing is just right because if it's not, when you go to assemble this, the pipes will not fit together properly. You want to make sure the ends of the pipes are clean with no burrs. Next, you're going to take some PVC primer or cleaner, place it on one side of the PVC pipe, and then you're also going to do the T on both sides. Once that's done, you're going to apply the PVC cement and then apply it to the fitting as well. And very carefully lift up and slide the T into the correct position. For me, the position is right here. Hold for 15 to 20 seconds to ensure that the fitting does not slide off. Next, you want to apply some cleaner to the other side of the pipe. And then you want to apply the cleaner to the inside of the T as well. With that complete, you can see that the pipe on the right, there's no way for that pipe to be inserted into the T unless you dig up about three to four feet of that pipe so you can lift it up, curve it, and then insert it into the T fitting. Now let me show you how it's done. You're going to take a heat gun and you're very carefully going to heat about six inches away from the end and you want to keep the tip of the heat gun about two inches away so you do not burn the pipe. You want to continue to heat the pipe all the way around. Do not go near the end of the pipe. You're going to notice that the pipe is going to start to droop as it softens in the area that you're heating. Once the pipe gets soft enough, you're going to stop heating. We have just a little more to go. You can see the pipe starting to drop. And we'll do more on this side. Now that the PVC pipe is extremely flexible, you're going to apply PVC cement to the fitting and the pipe, bend it and insert it with a slight twist. And then you wanna make sure that the pipe is straight so it can open up again and be perfectly straight. Last thing you're going to do is take a cool damp rag, feel the pipe, make sure it's nice and round. Then you're going to wipe it down until it's nice and cool and then you're good to go. If there's any kink in the pipe, that's an indication that the pipe was cut too long for the T. Make sure the pipe is not cut too long before it slides into that T fitting. And right here, you can see how nice and straight that pipe is. In case you're wondering, heating the pipe like this does not weaken it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.